All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. We're sitting out in front of the Freedom Pond. Everyone should have a Freedom Pond. This Freedom Pond is mine. Well, it belongs to the Mifflin County Sportsman's Association, but I'm claiming it as mine. This is the review table, as long as the mosquitoes do not carry me away. What are we looking at? This is a 6.5 Creedmoor build that I put together with the help of the guys over there at Live Free Armory, Hitman Industries, as well as Ultradyne, one of my favorite groups. And uh, yeah, also uh, the guys over there at Optics Planet provided this really cool uh, fab defense stock. This is really nice. Uh, as well as the uh, this really neat looking bipod, we're going to be doing a review on it individually. So this rifle is really cool and special to me because this rifle is going to be donated to Justin's final mission in an effort to help raise money. And they are going to go ahead and uh, raffle this thing off. Now, the crazy Scotsman is going to go ahead and handle this. I'm not going to have anything to do with it. I'm probably just going to ship the rifle off to him. Just a disclaimer, though, you're not going to get the bipod, and I'm going to keep this guy right here. But they've got one of their own special dudes that makes really cool uh, muzzle brakes. Now, uh, I do have some issues with the rifle. She's not locking back and having an issue with uh, failure to feed at the very beginning. Uh, not, not something that we couldn't overcome without some effort, but it's not something that I want to send out. So we're going to go ahead and get those issues squared away. Uh, the lower is just a regular old trigger group and probably about a six and a half, seven and a half pound trigger pull on this thing, but it's rather smooth. The charging handle, very smooth. Oh. Uh, not a bad pull, trigger pull, but for a 6.5 Creedmoor and taking it out the distance, you probably want something a little bit more precision-like. I will tell you this, this rifle is sub-MOA. And how do I know that? Because you're getting ready to watch a video where I just set it up. I set the Caldwell Gen 2 uh, chronograph up because one that I wanted to do was I wanted to test off this scope, which is the GLX with the Apollo reticle. There's two ways you can use this reticle. Uh, with the uh, turrets, the way they are, uh, one-tenth mils, you can either shoot it with using the turrets or you can use the reticle inside of it set up for the 140 grain uh, 6.5 ELD. And we're gonna engage those targets all the way out using the, nothing but the Apollo reticle. Two hundred yards. And I didn't get a chance to really do this. There was a the range was really crowded. And I know you want to see the shooting video, so we're going to be doing the shooting video here in a few minutes. But what I was able to do was chrono the round. Uh, we put the information into applied ballistics. And then with the 147 grain uh, on the third attempt out to 1,000, after we zeroed it in at 100, we nailed the 1,000-yard target, which I'm extremely, extremely happy with. With the 147 grain, this thing was probably about a 0.75 MOA, which you couldn't ask for anything better right off the bat. And I think that after the barrel was uh, brought into the uh, copper equilibrium that we need, it would probably get into the half MOA range. So it's gonna make for a very happy home for someone. Oh yeah, I'm keeping a scope. <laughs> but uh, the crazy Scotsman, Scotsman is gonna get this for Justin's final mission. Uh, I hope it raises some money. Uh, I will make sure that the, uh, the thing runs the way it's supposed to run before you get it. And uh, that's it. This is a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, uh, let me know what your thoughts are down below. I always end them like this. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom sometimes will come in 6'5 Creedmoor at 1,000 yards. I'm KB32. 
stand by for the video. Here we go. Doing a little testing with the Live Free Armory 6.5 Creedmoor. In a packed house out here. We're just going to do it out to 100 yards. And Krieger finally got some precepts in and took it to Buffalo Valley. Right where it needs to be. She's launching out to the front on these. We're from more of the Lancaster. They show ammo, don't they? More of a uh, gunsmith. But we're from the that, ladies and gentlemen, sub him away. Yeah, so we got a little bit of adjustment to do on this rifle before we give it away. But that's sub him away. I'm happy with what the 140's doing, so uh, I'm going to consider it zeroed. We just uh, bore sighted that thing, but what we want to do now. Let's go ahead and pop a couple of these 140 in here. I want to see where we are out of 800. Oh, she's a heavy. Go ahead and lock that to the rear. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to, to uh, go ahead and bring it out to the 800 to see how it works. I think that color. There it is. Not even close. Not even close. Right. I, I thought at least. Tell hey, you what we'll do. We'll take it out to six. Let's see if it works. Right on the six. All right. Uh. Eight, eight hundred with the orange target way out there. I don't know where it hit. Let's go for a thousand, just see for shits and giggles. Now we got to calibrate it for the eight hundred. But right now we're zeroed at one hundred. But for shits and giggles, uh. Let's do the 140 grain and go out to a thousand using the uh, 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 what do you call that thing? Applied ballistics. So we're going to go ahead. Updates available. Download. DLD. We'll do G7. Bullet weight 147. Muzzle velocity is. What are we doing? 147. 2603. Okay, so we're going a thousand yards. We're gonna go according to this guy. Nine point three mils up. Okay. One forty-seven. Yeah, I read. There it is. Simple as that. That's crazy. <laughs> but that's fun. This thing just needs a little bit of lube.